has been. Mm -hmm. The one and only, mm -hmm. the role model, mm -hmm. the Amomi, uh -huh. the president of the single, single ladies, uh -huh. the only one and only, uh -huh. Akode the boss lady, lady who currently is on a plane heading to France. Uh -huh. Ask yourself, <laughs> not even have you gone to France, can you even speak French yourself? Apart from oui, oui, and bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> anything. Some of you have not, do not even know where the French are. Comment tu Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Ah, coupé, coupé, bam, bam. Now, these are the photos that have been bringing a lot of controversy and a lot of talk on the social media, and of course, in Kenyan houses. Mm. When Akode held her, her own show yes. in Watamu a few days ago. Para, pa, 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 Paparemo Beach. Paparemo, pa, Paparemo Beach. Yes. And the whole topic was how she displayed herself. Mm. And of course, they were saying, oh, she was twerking, she was showing nash nash, and she was almost <laughs> spreading legs like rumors. They were saying that Akode's legs and Mpasho are one thing. They all ah, have one thing in common. Ah, ah, There's really? something they are spreading. <laughs> ah. Rumors in Pasho. And, uh, and you see, the, and, yeah. oh my God. Oh Jesus. Oh God, please. Hey. But this is what I have to say, guys. Mm -hmm. This is all I have to say. Mm. Melo, I know Ezekiel Mtua, the mm. moral police, who's a very good friend of mine. Mm has been on her case. Mm -hmm. But Caroline Mutoko mm. and the women of Nairobi, mm. Esther Pasaris, mm. have come out loudly mm. to defend Akode. Mm -hmm. Saying that Akode actually owes no one an explanation. Mm -hmm. She owes no one to become a role model. Mm -hmm. You get? And even mm -hmm. Akode herself said, mm. even my daughters themselves do not consider me a role model. Mm. Why should I role, mod role model your own children? She actually said, mm. Mimi nitaandika kitu kwa peje yangu. Chukua ile ina kubenefit ile nyingine waachana nayo. This is what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. You get? Mm. And totally not being biased on any side. Mm. But this is what I'm going to be saying. Yeah. Parents before you go everywhere yapping and shouting mm. that a code is not a real a role model. Mm. Ask yourself. Mm. Are you a role model yourself to your children? Mm -hmm. That is the question I'm going to be asking tonight. Mm -hmm. Are the things you say in front of your children, mm -hmm. the things you do in front of your children, mm -hmm. are they Mm -hmm. A role model kind of a behavior to your children mm -hmm. yourself. Number two, trending topic. This week, Kenyans came all up in arms after mm -hmm. a certain gentleman mm -hmm. was caught sneaking mm -hmm. with a child mm -hmm. out of a uh, was it Kenya International Hospital, mm -hmm. and was actually arrested and taken to court. Mm -hmm. uh, taken to court, and they said that he was supposed to be actually charged. Oh yeah. You get yes. because of uh, fifty-six thousand uh, 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 bill. Mm -hmm. But a uh, good thing is His Excellency, the governor of Nairobi, uh, Mike, Mike Sonko, Sonko yeah. came out strongly mm. to actually came out and actually bailed him out and actually gave him a job. And he wow. reported to work today. Great. I even saw the photos. Look at it. Well, it was yesterday, yeah? Yes, but uh, thank you for the correction. The guy's already reported to work. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yes. But this is what I'm going to be asking. Mm. And um, uh, I hope... I hope the Council of Gana Governors are watching. Mm -hmm. This is my question number one. Mm. If really the country worked towards yeah. making sure that Kenyans have a better health care, mm -hmm. then nobody would be sneaking with children out. It is true. You get? Yeah. If all these programs that are being put together to make sure that people have better health care, mm -hmm. if they were put into place and well implemented, mm -hmm. then Kenyans will not be hiding children mm. under Ghana must go mm -hmm. kind of bags mm -hmm. to get their children out. It's true. So government, this is, and especially the county government of Nairobi, mm. and even all the county governments, all the county government. this is a challenge to you. Mm -hmm. Please, create them. Mm. Number two, I'm going to ask to everybody who is an employer outside there, mm. does someone have to go to the limelight? Mm. Because it is not sickening me. Mm -hmm. The last time I saw such a story was mm. a certain lady who her story was all over social media. Mm. A lady who was a, a degree, I think, in HR. And after she came out in public, that's when somebody got her a job in Nairobi, all the way from uh -huh. Transoya. Uh -huh. Now, this is a case of whereby this man came out of public, mm. in the public, mm. having stole, uh, sneaking out a key, his kid. Mm. That's when he was given a job. And I'm asking, mm. in yes. Kenya, mm. has the criteria of getting employment changed mm -hmm. from going to school mm -hmm. to actually? Mm. You must come out in public doing something weird for me for you to get employment mm -hmm. because this man did not go any through any any uh probation mm -hmm. any employment any grilling any vetting but but i'll tell you one thing yeah yes. social media is powerful they have 
wamejua social media ni powerful they can put anything there and it will go viral it's fine mm. so does it mean that today if i want a job mm. you get mm. should i go start running naked mm. in the street <laughs> for them to know that dr fenek wants a job no. what i'm simply trying to say is this mm. if guys are looking for work and there's work and mm. i'm challenging all the governors that are watching with a lot of authority. If there's work in your county government, please give people give work. They people. don't have to be on social media. It is true. Uh -huh. I've come to realize that Africans, we are not the best people when it comes to interviews. Mm -hmm. Kenya, Africans are very straight black. When you watch CNN and Al Jazeera mm -hmm. and Fox News, mm -hmm. the, the, the interviews are very, you know, like they ask, they build up the question. Mm. So what happened in Afghanistan? <laughs> they build you up. In Africa, one, our grammar is wrong. No. Our English messes us up. <laughs> Number two, we ask very out of the blank kind of questions. Mm. This, I, I did a research, and this was, a, this was an interview between a gay activist mm -hmm. uh, in Uganda mm -hmm. and, the, and actually the presenter. Mm -hmm. And this is how the interview went. Studio this morning, one of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr.? Pepe Julian Onzima, thank you for coming in. Thank you for Good morning. Me. Morning to you. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. You are ah, gay. gay. Hey. Not, <laughs> that guy was straight to the point. Let's not waste says, time. Who says I have I'm decided gay? who you are. Yeah. You are mellow. Shut up. Who says I'm mellow? You are poor. <laughs> From there, I travel a little bit down, a little bit almost towards Southern Africa. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and this person being asked question clearly didn't know the didn't know english very well mm -hmm. so he did i think he missed the past tense class mm -hmm. done 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 did it <laughs> and I, this is the clip i bumped into <laughs> between these two zimbabwe did it why can't malawi did it why can't zambia did it why can't mozambique did it and then in the end everybody will did it if you did Tell me you did it. If you didn't did it, tell me you didn't did it. I, I didn't did it. Yeah. <laughs> so turn did to you, the person next to you. Did you did it? Eh? Did you did it? I did it. I did it. No, I'm, say you, I, you say you did I it. I am Adida. <laughs> the person who does it is called Adida. <laughs> so who, are you Adida? No. Did you did it? I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> From there onwards, who ate the meat that remained in the fridge? I did it. Did you did it? I did we it. We all did it. Right there. How are you great. doing? You? I'm good. <laughs> nice to see you nice again. To see you. Beautiful as always. Oh, you're looking <laughs> amazing. Okay. Thank why, you. Why, why is it okay for ladies to compliment each other? But men, I think life is so unfair. <laughs> why? You can never hear mentally, yeah, hey, man, say you guy, yeah, I like your shirt. Yeah, hey, I like your shirt. Yeah, hey, I like your beard. Yeah, hey, I like. It's not even men. I hear ladies call each other boo. Yeah. Sorry, boo and sweetheart. Mm, yeah. Now imagine me probably calling who? Mm, <laughs> let me see. Uh, cream. I like, hey, manze, hey, manze, manze cream. Hey, manze, babe. I like that kipara. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask, what, what, what drives you every single day? What, what drives? What is that motivating factor every time you wake up in the morning? Well, lately it's the knowledge that I don't know how much time I have here on this earth. No one really does. Wow. So that always shakes me, and I'm always making decisions based on that. Like, okay. What if this was my last day? How would I have this interview? How would I have this conversation? So I really want to treasure every single moment because you never know. You, you love having fun, right? I love having fun. I love enjoying life. I love being in the moment. I love savoring every single moment. Like this conversation right now. In, in, in school, were you, were you in the CU or entertainment? Hey, how <coughs> did you know? How, how did you know? <laughs> We're getting deep, girl. Hey, We're getting deep. I was in the CU, fam. What? Hey. Yes. What Challenge weekend. Uh, I still love Jesus. Well, I wear uh, short skirts, but I still love Jesus. What happened that um, you probably took a step back from gospel music and now you're not really secular? Yeah. In the words of our parents, Ngomaza Shetani. I don't know why they used to call it Ngomaza Shetani. I don't, I don't understand why. Ngomaza Shetani. Yeah, like, oh what is that you're listening to? Ngomaza Shetani. Yeah. Like, what, 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 what caused the change? What caused the change? Uh, well, I think people evolve. 
and change and grow and experience different things. So for me, I, I was more curious about what else I can sing about. Yeah, mm. I felt like when I was in the gospel industry, I could only sing about certain things. But I wanted to express myself as an artist in different ways. So yeah, yeah I guess that's are. why here I am. And I, and I still find myself collaborating with gospel musicians because mm. I guess... That, there, that there, path there, is still there, there. there are no guys from high school who probably inbox you like, hey, <laughs> you gotta go to hell. <laughs> what, 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 what happened to the first love? You know, you don't get those kind of uh, those kind of ridicule. Mm, not really. Eh. No, no. They're like, oh, I like you better now with the love songs. Let me stay with you all the way. <laughs> what did your parents think uh, about the change? Yeah. They're cool. They're pretty liberal people, mm. so they're okay. They're fine. No, like fine. Yeah, like they're like, they're like, they just church? support me whatever I do. So, do you still sing in the church? <laughs> mm. 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 Yes, when I'm you in their the congregation. The <laughs> yes, yeah. I you still sing in the church, but from the other side. What did you do after high school? Uh, well, after high school, I went to Desta University where I studied communications. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I majored in electronic media. So, yeah, that's really what I did after high school. And while I was in campus, when I was in university, I was still doing music, but mm -hmm. like on the side. I was doing backing vocals for artists like Atemi, Kaz. Oh, amazing. Mm. Um, isn't she incredible? Hey, Atemi is bad, she my God. Is. Atemi, shout baby, out. Baby, shout baby, out. <laughs> baby, baby. baby. Then, she, then she's a diva. So, Atemi, who, uh, who else? Uh, Sarah Mitaro, no. Kaz, and then I started singing backing vocals for a hip-hop group, mm -hmm. a gospel hip-hop group that had Giuliani, Riga, oh, Esther. Was that was hip-hop. No, that like, was hip-hop. Oh, yeah, and I used to sing backing vocals in that group. Mm. And then Giuliani left Kijiji, and then we became Chit Chat. Like they, they just took the backing singers and all the rappers. Do you remember the songs in Chit Chat? Yes. Mm, can you give oh, us Oh, 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 oh. I like your shoes. I know. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I like your hair. Oh, girl. Oh, 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 oh. oh. The clothes you wear. Woo! You're fresh. You're fly. I really like your style. Okay, fine. It's okay. My God. First of all, Mayonde, would you do a collaboration with Akode? A hundred percent. Yes. Where do I sign? Where do I go? Akode is life. Please. What? I love a So if you spread on this side, you spread on that side. Hey, Akode, mom, are you watching this? No, I love I you. She's watching, she's watching live on Fast Class. <laughs> she's on her way to France. She said, Let's, let, let her go to France and come back. Yes. Then she's going to deal with people. So I you love think, her. So you think she's, she's, she's okay? Do I whatever. think she's, she's wonderful. She's like one of my role models even because she does what is authentic to her. She lives mm. her life fully. Yeah. She's herself unapologetically and i feel like if everyone was like that the world would be a, a, a much better place that would be fine it was not even one second of the show you're already throwing shade on the boy child no, it's girl no, power it's girl power what what well, is it what is it with all these feminists are you a feminist no i'm not a feminist are you sure yes a feminist believes in equality of the sexes mm -hmm. and i don't believe we're equal so who's higher? Who's higher? If you're gonna put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, for the past two days, and of course I was under pressure yeah. uh, to make sure I read as much as I can before yeah. coming on the show. And you talk about your experiences, especially most of the- My experiences? Most of the chapters, um, are most of them derived from your time when you're doing basketball. Yes, yes, not my Isn't personal it? experience. No, no, I'm no. saying from, <laughs> just to make that clear. Like, wow, do those you, are many experiences. Do you actually believe in love? <laughs> Let me just ask you, do you actually believe in love? Oh, I, I guess you haven't got into that chapter yet. It's I'm there. I'm almost. It's there. I do, I do believe in love. But you sound so tough. Even on radio, you're like, hmm, I'll just tell you that your husband is a cheater. Why shouldn't you be tough? Um, just think about anything that you need to do in life. You want to drive a car, you need to go and uh, do a driving test you need to do a few weeks mm -hmm. before you're considered good enough to drive a car. You want to go out into the world and have a career, you have to do, what, 20 years of schooling? Exactly. But when you want to spend the rest of your life with someone, we're not supposed to be tough. We're supposed well, to I just mean, pick somebody and say, uh, you I think will do. Do you believe that all, all men are naturally born cheaters? No. I think that... Um, 
it's 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 I don't want to say they're born cheaters, mm. but I will say that from an evolution point of view, you don't really have a choice. From an evolution perspective, you have trillions and trillions of sperm, right? Yes. <laughs> what is it looking at me answering? I'm just saying. <laughs> it's like, yes, I'm it's a confirmation. Saying. You've I'm told it right. It's a fact. Mm -hmm. Whereas I have maybe around 200 eggs. Those are very sparse, <laughs> sparse resources. Vis-a-vis -vis what you have. Let me laugh at all the ladies, so it's 200. Vis-a-vis -vis Be what you have. Beyonce selling thousands of studios. It just got 200, okay. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Even Beyonce with her beauty and everything, you see what happened. 200. Yeah? Mm -hmm. See, the dude had trillions. <laughs> Who the game? Trillions. Huh? So he was trying to find, obviously, with, um, with, with the evolution of the man. Right? Uh -huh. I'm not saying it's all possible. It's very possible. However... Um, what goes wrong in this whole story is mm. you can't then decide that from an evolution point of view, you have to go forth and procreate, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas you're not taking care of my 200 scarce resources. Mm -hmm. I get your point. Do you see what the problem is? I'm almost convinced that you have Do you a see problem. what the problem is? I see what the So problem people is. can't be everywhere. You have to make up your mind. You have to be like, yes, I'm going to take care of those 200 scarce resources. Well, make sure you're right. But I'm going to make sure that the babies that you bring into this world are fine. But then let me, let me. Which is supposed to be your job anyway. But today, does that happen? No. And when a woman expects it of a man, we're told we're gold diggers. Would, would, you pay, would you pay bill on the first date? No, no, no. If I, if no, probably no. I misplaced no, my ATM no, card. No, 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 sorry, no. I misplaced my ATM, it happens. So really? My, my, my mobile money uh, application can hang. Do you need to call somebody? Do you need to m use my phone to make a call? <laughs> Are you serious? So I, I sort myself I, out. I so is your money our money? If you earn more than me? <laughs> <laughs> now you're coming back, round in circles. <laughs> what? What do you want to be? Let me okay. ask you a question, yes. right? Because mm -hmm. I'm also an equal opportunity person. Bring it on. Right? Mm -hmm. I do make enough money to mm -hmm. be able to take care of myself mm -hmm. and probably of you as well. Uh -huh. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, <Yeah. laughs> then I ask you, are you willing to then forego all these other things? The things that I will do to mm -hmm. pander to you and your ego to make you the best that you can be as a man. Are you willing to forego all that so I make you my bitch? Nah. See, see, make Do up your mind. Well, I'm, you I, can't have it all. Can I finish reading Choose the book? Choose one guys? thing. Let me finish reading the book so that I have more facts to attack you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Love is but a dream. It's already on the bookshelves all over the country. Make sure you get it. And of course, you can also just go on her Instagram uh, page, Shiko Mirore. Of course, Shiko dot Mirore. Yeah. And of course, of sh get in there. Of course, order the book. I'm already doing the some things. I'm like, mm hmm. Some things I'm like, mm hmm. I'm mm -hmm. like, hmm. Probably she almost got a point. You see, people say, ah, ana job, lazima nim chunge, lazima nim saidia fike apo penyako. How is how how old is this man? Let's just first of all start from let's there. Let's start. Let's start from because you know I was I was I was doing a talk the other day mm. um, to to young people, mm -hmm. the youth, mm. and and one of the things that came up is mm. that whole thing of are you supposed to date a guy in a big car mm -hmm. and maybe you know forget about these young guys and I and I said let's mm. be a bit realistic mm -hmm. about the people you're dating mm -hmm. and their age group and what they're trying to accomplish. Yeah. They're not going to have Mercedes Benzes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. As guys, we might have big cars, but people forget that mm -hmm. we've been working for 20 years plus to get these things. Mm -hmm. And the generation of we want things now, mm -hmm. instantly mm -hmm. have to understand that there's nothing like that. You have to work hard. Mm -hmm. So if you start dating a guy who is 20 years old, mm -hmm. who's uh, probably just about to finish campus, he doesn't have um, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, that's fine. That's mm. perfectly normal. Mm. So you have to understand that when you're looking at him, you're not looking at what he has in terms of cash, mm. but you're looking at his potential. Is he a diamond in the rough? Mm. Is he a person who, when he speaks, 
he looks like he has direction, mm -hmm. he knows where he's going, mm -hmm. then you as a woman mm -hmm. can definitely date a guy like that. You guys mm -hmm. come up together, you guys get married, you guys have babies, mm -hmm. and uh, you say, mm -hmm. but oh, remember those days remember. when we had no money. <laughs> yes. But even in that instance, mm -hmm. when he has no money, mm -hmm. I expect him to be the man. It's true. I expect him to take you for a picnic. Mm -hmm. Then I have to, mm -hmm. how expensive is a picnic? That's I mean, nothing. I mean, like Uru Park is put, free. Put together and some, yes. Let's go to Uru Park. Let's yeah. pray. I mean, let's let's eat. Yeah. Let's eat the Bible. Let's eat spiritual. Oh, come on, food. you can buy a, 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 a <laughs> loaf of bread and make some sandwiches. You know, oh, I like, I like yeah. that. And get yeah. get a get a nice cheap bottle of wine, whatever. Mm. And, and and take her to a picnic. It's and true. by the way, if you go to Karura and places like those, it's so beautiful. The waterfalls, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. So but that woman is gonna feel, oh my gosh, this is so yes, romantic. So basically, you can go with my book and read to her. Yeah, just like baby, just stand there <laughs> chapter two uncommon love oh, okay maybe, love <laughs> maybe read to our poetry instead <laughs> my goodness cast resources this is a, of course i think <laughs> i think it's a topic that was you go and argue then with god and ask him why he gave us 200 eggs <laughs> thank you relax <laughs> this yeah. was this, uh, god, i'm <laughs> sorry god i'm sorry you were not supposed to be involved in this conversation thank you very much um let's now get to do, do you miss do you miss radio Yes, of course. Uh, radio is fun. How many years now since you out of the studio? Uh, it's been a while. I think I left December 2013. What? Yeah, so it's been a while. Must have been a tough decision to make. Not really. <sighs> really? No, it was Make it emotional. No. <laughs> You're like, I'm done with this. <laughs> no. Did you feel, did you ever feel like um, your life was at risk doing Busted? Did you ever get like threats? Like yeah. if I find you, you've broken my marriage, I'll get you on Kimadi Street. Um, no. I think I was, I was roughed up once by a bouncer at a concert. <laughs> what, what did you do? <laughs> the guy was, it was so bad. <laughs> was, first of all, he... <laughs> the way you're so strong. I, I was with my daughter and, and this guy, he shoved her. And I was so upset. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and, and I remember, uh, go and ask your false guys about this because this is just... Steve Wendell, you must so be They took story. a picture of me like... <laughs> so, uh, this was such a bad picture. I was looking really upset. Like a lioness does when she's trying to protect her the calves. calves yeah. Because <laughs> some guy has got to shove her. And then they went and they, and they, they printed this picture and then they said that I was looking at somebody else, like Angela Gwen. And I was upset with her. I was like, come on, guys. You're better than this. You know? um, that was now the bouncer that I found later on to be mm. upset with me because of, of Busted. He was Busted. Yeah. Wh which, which is the most memorable Busted to you? Which is the most, like, wow, this one of all, this was a killer. I liked the Chang Liu thing. I've not got there. It's in the. Is it in the book? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, like I've, I've not. I've not got any. I've not got this, got this, there. <laughs> this guy, this mm. woman rather, was having a storo mm. with one of these chipongos <laughs> on thicker. Hey, hey, cool down, chipongos. Hey, you are sharing. <laughs> chipongos. Okay, fine. When, <laughs> guys, <laughs> what is chipongos? <laughs> you know what a chipongo is? It's what I don't know. The guys, they came, the Asian guys who came to fix, the Chinese guys who came to fix our roads. Uh, uh, sometimes Asians are referred to as, is this considered a racist remark? I don't think so because I don't think it's abusive. But anyway, uh, sometimes Asians mm. are referred to as chipongos because their eyes are like chips. <laughs> and she's thin like this. Like this. Uh. <laughs> Is that okay? Can I say uh, that? Yeah. No, it's like fine. it's not abusive. It's right? okay. It's, fine. It's, it's like I know it's in the okay. US, in the US, <laughs> Black Americans, Africans, we call them Makata. So uh, they really don't know what, what it means, but they call them Makata. Yeah. So now Chipongo is. Uh -huh. So this mama was having a story with a Chipongo. <laughs> then <laughs> her hubby wanted to find out whether it's a true story or not. What? So I called her and I pretended to be the Chipongo's mother from Chipongo land. <laughs> So I told her. No. <laughs> I told her. Ah, you know how bad it is. So <laughs> I told her, ah, is half the thing okay with you? Because my son, my son loves you very much. <laughs> and he won't, he won't marry you. Wow. 
And I'm very happy. <laughs> I want you to come. I want you to come to Tana with Hold my it. son. With my son. Hold and it. then she I have started. A phone. I have a phone. She started. <laughs> this mom, this mom said have. she wants to go to China. And the funny thing is when she said she wants to go to China, even how she got a sort of a Chipongo accent. <laughs> it was very odd. <laughs> <laughs> then the <laughs> hubby starts now asking her, what's all this? And then she starts denying it. Uh? And then the hubby is asking her in vernacular, the day we order where you got? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Where are you to go to go to The day you got. So have you ever like left the studio and found, <laughs> let me call them victims, I'm probably at the studio, out, out of the studio waiting for you? No. But what I do, I, I find like um, people I meet later mm. actually tell me, um, hey, you know, you busted me. Like, uh, you know, uh, th uh, there's an MCA for Makweni, <laughs> Mbula. <laughs> Is it MCA? Mutula, no, do you know her? MCA? It's a lady. Oh my God. And she's so nice. She's, like, she's a total sweetheart. And um, somebody wanted me to bust her when she was in, in campus. And I called her, and she, mm. she wasn't doing anything. You know, busted wasn't necessarily... Well, of course, we always remember the bad part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a human psychology. But sometimes there were ha happy endings. Mm -hmm. And so hers was, but you see, for hers you, was a good but one. But it's free for you in the studio, and for us listeners, it was a happy ending. Yeah. But it's not going to be a happy ending in the house. You put me out on national radio okay, doubting for, me. Well, yeah. Well, for her, what she told me was that she ended up just walking away from the relationship. She was like, you didn't trust me. Yeah. Let's talk about you as a mom. How old is your daughter now? My daughter is 21. 21? Wow. Yeah. She's a grown-up now. She's a big girl. She's graduating in July. How do you feel? Oh, I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. She's, she's an amazing kid. Yeah, I remember you say somewhere at the... I th um, uh, is it at the forward? You said something very profound. Mm -hmm. I love my beautiful angel, Erica. When did the student become the teacher? I learn so much from you every day. My parents will never say anything like this. <laughs> <laughs> like I have not taught them anything. You have taught them anything. They're like, all you've been doing is taking from us money and nonsense. Um, what, 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 what is that one thing that you feel you, Erica has? That one input that you if today probably she left and went well to study in the U.S. or somewhere, you feel like, you know what, if she was there, this would have been done differently. Uh, something that I did that I wouldn't no, have that done? that she does. Uh-huh. Mm. What is it, the thing that connects the two of you as a mom and as a daughter? I would say friendship. Friendship. She's my friend. She's my best friend. Wow. She is. I can, I can tell her anything and... And it works both ways. Mm. Like mm. I feel like sometimes I was talking to her like two nights ago, and um, we do this WhatsApp calls, mm -hmm. which is fine because she's in the UK. Mm. And her friend came, and I was on speaker, and she was, "Oh, I'm just speaking to my mom. You know, you can just dive in." And the, this this girl was like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> And, 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 and whatever we were discussing, she was like, oh, this is interesting. And, and she, she just... She just joined it. Yeah, she just joined it. And two and a half hours later, we were still on the phone. And she said, oh my gosh, it's so cool that you guys can talk like this. Like, I, I, I'm even forgetting that it's Erica's mom on the phone. I think for no? me it sounds weird because I know when we were growing up, even just coming with your friends to the house was weird. I once went with my best friend to their house. Yeah. Then, you know those weird moments whereby you go with your friends to their house, then their mom <laughs> starts calling them. Yeah. And you just sit, sit there <laughs> feeling weird. Yeah. You're like, is this the point <laughs> where I live? Or do I just sit here? And I think we've not been brought up in an African setup whereby we are that free with our parents. And even the thing even comes even in to punish. This is I see parents, like I have to negotiate with my daughters. I can't punish them anymore. Like, mom, why did you do this? Then she has to, I, I have to have time to explain. Back in the days. I don't know if it's a generational thing because I have a really good relationship with my mother. Hey. Yeah, me and my mom will stay up for hours. Uh, to talking. my mom, you're a terrorist. <laughs> really? I don't negotiate with terrorists. She will, <laughs> she will deal with you like no. a terrorist. No, my mom is, my mom is really awesome. Beautiful. She's, the she's whole got a lot of um, wisdom. Beautiful. And <coughs> she decides she wants to impart that wisdom to you. You better listen. Come on. Yeah. Are you in love? 
Am I in love? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, are we going into that territory? No, we are almost getting down with the show. I'm just throwing the spanner into the... Are you in love? Uh, Would well, you really I'm approach I'm a man if you like him? Would you be the first one to make the first? No. Haven't you been listening You're to anything I've been telling I'm, you? I'm trying to poke you. I mean, she would just... Wh why can't it? guys just be men? Like, it's so annoying. <laughs> like, you want <laughs> us you sound to like be... a South African. Oh, like, yeah. Why just can't just be men? Why? Be men. Yeah, men should just be men. <laughs> just annoying. Like, if you, want, <laughs> if you like somebody, what if you like me? Go after them. them. Why don't you tell me as well? Like, hey, dude, I've been sitting around the estate uh, carrying your garbage to the garbage truck, and I think you have very nice legs. <laughs> Look, I, mean, I just don't understand. Like, I was actually having a conversation recently with somebody who, who said, oh, um, uh, you know, where have you been? And... <laughs> He's also disgusted. <laughs> you don't call me. <laughs> have you ever been in love, actually? <laughs> I'm sorry to doubt. Do you so even I, have so a heart? So I told him, you know, I think, like... like <laughs> We, we've known each other like a pretty long time now eh. and I think I can be completely and totally honest with you and there's something I really want you to know <laughs> and not many people know this Ouch. but are you ready for it? Bring it on. <laughs> the phone line it works both ways <laughs> it's a new discovery in case you didn't know how did he react to that? did he start calling? That was like two days ago. Let's wait and see if he'll call. <laughs> Girl, if he hasn't called till now, <coughs> sips drink. <laughs> <laughs> you already done gave up. Um, <laughs> this was really amazing. Please, where, where, where can they get them from, apart from online? Apart from then, actually. The textbook center. Textbook center. Sarita's uh, Junction. Mm -hmm. TRM on Fika Road has. All the major malls, basically. Yeah, Galleria has. If you're in the CBD... You can buy from Prestige Bookshop, Mamangena Street. Beautiful. If you want an autographed copy, hit me up on my social media pages. Thank I'm you on very Facebook, much. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram. MySpace. Are you on Snapchat? Oh, and please don't try and hit on me on, 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 on oh, social media. Trust me, when I say men should, when I say people should try and be you men, know, guys, I don't mean. <laughs> most of the guys have never seen. Oh my have God. never seen you face to face. So now that they know how you, you look know like... You know some of those DMs that I see, I, 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 I'm like, does this ever work for you? <laughs> like, honestly, like, have you ever tried this? I, and hey, and hey, a chick hey, actually writes back and hey, says... Hey, sexy. Oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what I, don't, I, don't I mean, like, does this work for you? <laughs> what, have, what are you dressed in? Why are you, are you a fashionista? Why would you just go... <laughs> If you're gonna ask me what I'm dressed in, please, yeah, you better... These dudes can't even approach indirectly. You know, at least buy a book or something. <laughs> Like uh, I bought your book. Then, I want then you pretend that you've come back and you're saying, you know, something I wanted to clarify on page twenty-eight <laughs> when you said, <laughs> did you actually mean? Oh yes. <laughs> Beautiful, can you come? Come, let me help you up. Let me help you up. Uh, there you, you go. Now you see you're learning being a man. And but I'm a man. Only that you didn't meet me. Chivalry is mm, not please. there oh, in relax. Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about Nigeria. We just postponed our elections. <laughs> And I'm mm -hmm. scared the second time. Yeah. Buhari, you're such a mess. <laughs>